On March the 2nd, 2019, the first orbital test flight of the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft was launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket. This was the first full flight test of the new generation of Crew Dragon, flown as part of the ongoing effort from SpaceX to prove its viability of using its craft to send astronauts to the International Space Station, or ISS. However, this was no big dumb test rig. This ship was the real deal, a brand new spacecraft with fully functional life support systems, navigational controls and display panels, and of course Ripley, a dummy astronaut kitted out with some pretty nifty sensors to ensure that the forces, acceleration and internal environment of the spacecraft are indeed safe for human flight. Now it'll be some time before this data is fully analysed, but the initial results are looking promising, and that is because on this day, at 8.45 Eastern Standard Time, the Crew Dragon successfully splashed down around 450 kilometres off the coast of Florida, following a gruelling 15-minute deorbit burn and a re-entry speed that heated the ship's shell up to a rather toasty 1,600 degrees Celsius. This brings us one step closer to the world's first, crewed commercial space flight to low Earth orbit. The success of this mission also gets SpaceX closer to its goal to fully retire its Dragon cargo vehicle and move exclusively to using the new generation Crew Dragon and Cargo Dragon pods to transport both crew and supplies to the International Space Station. The new Cargo Dragon fleet will comprise of repurposed crew vessels that have already flown their mission because cargo-rated spacecraft require far fewer safety precautions than human-rated ones. Now, while a January report from the US government suggested that SpaceX would not receive human certification until around December 2019, SpaceX has in fact planned the first Crew Dragon mission to fly this summer around July time, subject to completion of the data analysis from Ripley, of course. The two NASA astronauts assigned for the first crewed flight are Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, who will conduct a two-week mission aboard the ISS to conduct lots and lots of tests and analysis on the new vehicle. Now, if this mission successfully goes ahead, it would mean that Russia's Soyuz spacecraft is no longer the exclusive spacecraft capable of human spaceflight, saving NASA an enormous amount of money in the process after it lost its own ability to provide crewed flight when it retired its space shuttle program all the way back in 2011. Now with SpaceX's success of the Crew Dragon, all eyes are now turning to Boeing's Starliner craft, which is the other craft competing to offer American astronauts a ticket to the space station. But the success of today's mission is one heck of an act to follow.